Moore's Law is plateaued. So Moore's Law was invented in the 70s and it was just sort of an empirical observation of the computing power of a processor. So at roughly every two years, the power of a processor would double and that lasted for a few decades. So we need a new different type of computing architecture to actually replace the previous types of architectures. Xanadu is building the world's first practical quantum computer. A quantum computer is capable of changing the world as we know it. And we're solving problems that would previously been unable to be solved using conventional computers. Xanadu is building a, a, a quantum chip. It's based on light or photonics and it can move at the speed of light and do some remarkable things. And this allows many benefits. One of them is scalability and also tackling a different types of problems that other companies cannot. Ontario Centers of Excellence funding has been very crucial to us. For the Talent Edge program, we were able to hire a stellar candidate for our photonics engineering, which has been very important to us. In the last two years, they were able to create 34 jobs in Ontario. When I first met Christian, Christian was alone just talking about an idea. After two years, today he has 34 employees, and I believe 28 of them are PhD graduates. I believe the biggest asset we bring to the table is the networking. So we were able to connect Christian with U of T to do some of the collaboration work. Our collaboration with the University of Toronto was really key to sort of pushing the company to the next phase. One of Xanadu's advisors is John Seif. We work very closely with him at the University of Toronto. Quantum computing and quantum information processing generally offers the opportunity to do calculations and data processing in a way that one can't by the standard method. Xanadu is going to be at the forefront of that. Technology and the opportunity for changing the world has opened up for us.